I'm here with Laura. Laura, how old are you? 27. 27. How long have you been using blues, Laura? Uh, for like about six months. Six months? Yeah. Who introduced you to blues six months ago? Uh, maybe my friends or my family. Your friends and your family, both? Uh, some of them. Some of them? Do you have kids? I have one. He's four. He's five now. Your your son is five? Yeah. Where's your son at? He's being taken care of with a babysitter. The babysitter has him, huh? Yeah. Okay. And how many pills do you use per day, Laura? Just about a couple, like eight or seven or six or three. That's it. That's it? I don't smoke a lot. Okay. Does your family know that you're out here, Laura? Yeah, it's not Does that happen a lot where you're slumping like that? Mm -hmm. When do you think you're gonna go to treatment so you can go back to your son, Laura? I don't know, sort of that treatment. For um, drugs, I don't know where I'd be going or something like that. I had treatment before and I had already and completed it. So I don't know what else would I be able to get into that and how or what or, or drugs and stuff. I think it's very easy sometimes. I don't know if they might have one there for that so I can come there sometime. Yeah. How do you stay safe out here, Laura? Mm, talking with family and friends. How often do you see your family, friends, your son? How often? I see my mom. Every day, like, 16 days, something like that. Every 16 days, you see your family? Yeah. When you smoke blues, uh, it makes you sleepy, tired, what? Laura, huh? when you smoke blues, does it make you sleepy, tired? What does it do to you? It doesn't, doesn't do nothing to me. It doesn't do that to you? No. Okay. Got it. Uh, some people tell me that when they smoke blues, they get uh, sleepy. They start slumping, like falling asleep. But that doesn't happen to you? When they smoke blues? Yeah. Yeah, I think so. Okay. What did your normal life look like before blues, Laura? What were you doing? I mean, it was all right. Were you married? Were you, were you with your son? Were you with your family? Did you have a house? Did you have a job? Uh, I would go out to eat sometimes. You go out to eat sometimes? Yeah. Okay. When's the last time you had like a job? A couple. A couple months ago. A month, you said? 
a job? When's the last time you had a job? A couple months ago. A couple months ago? Yes. What were you doing for work? I was uh, working for uh, cleaning stuff. You're what? I said I was cleaning. You were cleaning? Like a janitor or cleaning houses or what? I was cleaning for the house where I were working at me and my friends. So that, uh, uh. Okay. And uh, what were you doing when I approached you, Laura? Uh, I was coming back from the store. You're going to go to the store? Of. Coming back from there and stuff. Oh, really? What'd you buy? Yeah. I think I bought something to drink and that's about it. Something to drink? Yeah. How do you stay warm at night? It gets really cold at night. How do you stay warm? I have a blanket and my blanket. I keep really, really warm and stuff. So I don't need two blankets and all that. Don't fall over, okay? You're gonna hurt yourself, okay? Don't fall over. Um, <coughs> how are you feeling right now, Laura? Uh, I feel like I'm not, I'm, I'm, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm you feel obnoxious? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Some people feel like that sometimes. Some of us feel like that, you know? Yeah. Yeah, because of everything that happened, and then you get out of it, and you start feeling like that, and then... Yeah. I feel like that. You feel like that? Yeah. Have I already talked to you before? I think so at once as well. I think so too, right? Uh, in East Phoenix? Yeah. Like two years ago, I believe. You look familiar. Yeah. How have you been since then? Same? Better or worse? Better. 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 Okay. You're not tired of living like this yet? Yeah. You are? You're not ready to seek help? No, I'm okay. You're okay? Yeah. So, um, I'm gonna say thank you very much for talking to me. Um, Please get better. So I'm pretty sure I talked to you like two years ago and I'm barely just, it's dawning on me right now that I, I talked to you, you look a little different, but uh, still in the same situation, doing the same thing, okay? Laura, yeah? I'm gonna hand you a donated blessing bag from one of my subscribers, her name is Leslie, she's from Montana. So can you uh, look through this bag to see if these are items you can use?
That's nice. Little beanie. Scarf. Socks. Toiletries. Little br bracelet that uh, her some of her kids and uh, and her were able to create for you. I think it says courage. And little snacks, well, okay? So Laura, please stay safe. God bless you and uh, we'll talk soon, okay?